Damon, David, um, you're the head guys from Brief Your Market. Could you tell me a bit about where the future of Brief Your Market is going and also some success stories of, of current agents that are getting lots out of the system? Yeah, so Brief Your Market um, has got quite a few facets to the business. First of all, core Brief Your Market uh, is driving hard on automating more communications, writing really relevant content so we can understand content okay. that we know is really successful. Um, we're also really, we've been, for the last 18 months, we've been writing a product called Boost Your Market, um, which is not known in the industry. It's an exclusive for you, Chris, that is. Okay. Um, where we've taken um, lead scoring to the next level. So we can actually inform our customers who they should call and what they should call them about. And we've seen some outstanding results from that. So we've taken agencies from doing 60 calls to book evaluation down to 20 calls to book evaluation. We've doubled the amount of viewings that they're doing. Um, What's that bit of AI um, working out with who they should be calling from their interactions? Well, what we've done is we've blended website traffic with all the on and offline media inside Briefing Market. So we know that Chris Watkins clicks on a website, clicks on your property website. <clears throat> we know that you've been looking at 22 Acacia Avenue. We know that you. Do you know it's Chris Watkins at this point or not? Or is it just like a, like a persona that the computer's recognised? No, 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 we know, because obviously you've clicked through one of the Brief Your Market emails. It's, it's providing to you, you're registered in the database yes, in the first place. Yes, you have yeah. to be registered inside BYM. We've got uh, atypically around about 30 to 40% penetration of people of understanding. Um, and this is driving, like I say, huge results. Um, not is this only, in your beta testing <clears> at the moment? It is at the minute. It's to be launched in January next year. Um, not only That's that, 2019. Thank you, Chris. Uh, not only that, um, what we're doing is by driving this content, we're driving a fantastic amount of uh, website hits. So currently, Brief Your Market as it stands, um, this year it has done 1.2 million website hits to our customers. Um, and That's from you guys sending stuff out on the emails and then someone clicking on it. Opens, uh, clicking through, click through, is going onto websites. Um, so what we're doing by that, and a, a, sorry, good example of that is uh, we have a customer where they're, where they're the second largest provider of website traffic. Um, and the only person that beats us is Google. And I'm kind of relaxed at the minute to be beaten by Google, but we'll try harder next year. Um, so <clears throat> it's all about this 1.2 million website hits that we're driving um, and other content that you're Because you wouldn't get that with these DIY methods. You know, some people have said in the past, well, I can just go and get SurveyMonkey and, and MailChimp. And, and it's free. I mean, what do you think to this thing? So I think we touched on in an earlier video the, the support that Briefy Market has given to its customer base and indeed people that aren't even its customers actually when GDPR regulations came along. So um, road shows with nearly 2,000 people coming along to, I think over 2,000 people yep. coming along to uh, hear proper true myth-busting information about GDPR. There's a team of 50 people that sit at um, uh, you know, the base office in, uh, in Derbyshire. Mm -hmm. And those people are all about supporting our customers. So some of them are about developing software, but that's driven by our customers in terms of you know the things that they're asking for as as, uh, as new facilities and functions on the system. There's a training team. We run academy days around the country. Uh, we've had hundreds of people attend those so far this year. And the product is never standing still. It's constantly under development. There are constantly new things being released. There's constantly bug fixes happening if this thing's not quite working right. And it's a constantly evolving product. What would you say to some people that say Brief Your Market's really tough to, to work? Yeah, I think it's, it's, it's always hard with a really big system like Brief Your Market. Um, I always say this, we're still unique worldwide. We are truly the only omni-channel. And a lot of people talk about omni-channels, we know. Um, so it, it's a very vast product. You can do an enormous amount. Um, what we've realized is that you can invest hot, as much as you can inside an MUI, or sorry, a user interface, um, but, it's a, but there has to be a huge network. And like David just said, we have 50 people inside the business that are calling customers on a very regular basis. And to give you an example of that. Because it wasn't like that, you know, five, 10 years ago. Well, well yeah, no, we, I mean, we just didn't have the resource no. to do that, Chris. I mean, just to give you an example of that, um, we've done 25,000 calls to our customers this year. And, and that's all about supporting, nurturing, and training, and making sure that 
they get the best out of the system because when you use Brief Your Market, it delivers the best ROI in, in, in I mean, influence. I'm talking to some people and there's some um, providers of your similar types of services coming from around the world, yep. in particularly Australia at the moment. I won't mention any names. Yeah, yeah. Um, what can Brief Your Market offer now and in the future that will basically blow those, how can we say, Antipodean um, cousins out of the water? Is that nicely? Yeah, well, I, I think a, a good example is um, the product that you're talking about um, is, again, just an email product. Um, and there's advantages of that and disadvantages. Um, BYM goes across the omni-channel. Uh, not only that, it doesn't, I, I keep saying this. What does omni, ch I mean, I, I know what it means, but what does it actually mean to the agent? Okay, yeah. So, it's a good, uh, so omni-channel means that every single customer inside your database will want to be communicated on a different channel. So, for example, you might like email, I might like SMS, and David might like a letter. Um, and Briefly Market can achieve all that in one place. So it ensures that not only do we send the right content at the right time, but on the right medium um, to make sure you have the highest rate of engagement and the highest rate of return. Why is that important to agents, David? Um, so I think um, it, it, we've seen the rise of the mobile, haven't we, over the last five years. And the amount of traffic that now is opened and looked at on a mobile is exponentially greater than it was mm. five years ago. And who knows what it'll be in another five years time. So because the technology that um, Damon's written and his team have written within Brief Your Market, it's able to cope with those changes and, and in fact harness those changes to, uh, to the full. Come back to this boost your market. That sounded interesting. Tell me a bit more about that. Um, yeah, so uh, like I touched on a minute ago, Chris, it's, it's all about making sure that we understand or I try to say it in the kindest of ways is you kind of get to be able to have a look inside somebody's head to be able to have a look what they're truly interested in without them knowing too much. Yeah. Um, and you can have really engaging conversations. And I'll give you an example of this. Um, because we know the properties that they're clicking on, and I've actually done this personally in a beta customer, rang up a lady and said, I have found you the perfect property. We've been thinking about it, your requirements, and this property is the perfect property. And we gleaned that information because um, we realised this lady had clicked on it 20 times. We could see she forwarded it to her, her husband or partner. Um, and her response was, I can't, I can't believe it. I've just been all up. That, that is my dream house. Of course I'd love to go and see it. So it's getting a true understanding of an individual. Also, oh, the computer recognised they were clicking on it many times. Then the agent brought in the human element saying, I think this is beautiful for you. And the, the person thought, they're my readers. Exactly, yeah. But, but not in a scary way. Well, yes. Know, I wouldn't recommend going up, I've just seen you've been clicking 20 times. <laughs> because actually they just put the phone down on you and make you delete your data. So I definitely wouldn't recommend that. But yeah, it's truly understanding what they want. And I think there's other added benefits to this, which is you become more credible as an agent. You are truly that local property expert that you talk about tirelessly inside your videos. Um, <laughs> <laughs> and it, when you can actually achieve that, you can achieve phenomenal results. And that's what Brief Your Market and Boost Your Market is really pushing forward. Exciting 2019. Thank you very much. Thanks, Thank you Chris. Much. Cheers. Thanks, Chris. Cheers.